we have learned about the qubit let's talk about the block so block is more advanced class which relies on events to trigger state changes rather than functions so block also extends block base which means it has similar public apis as qubit but block needs an extra thing which is events let's learn how block works i have already set up an application and installed the flutter block package in pubspec.yaml now let's go to the main.dart file and here i have the home page which have the body the column a text and the elevated buttons increment and decrement so now let's save it and you will see that increment and decrement let's create our first block first of all if you needs to speed up your block things you can go to the extensions and you will search for the block and here you will see this block library you can use it you can install it it will speed up your uh, block things it will speed up your coding to create other blocks too so now let's go here and let's create a new folder i am not using this library i want to write everything with my hand so that you can understand easily so let's create a new folder here and here let's create a folder name as a block now uh, create the first block and i will say here the counter block dot dot right here the class and the class name as a counter block not the qubit it should extends from not the qubit but it should extends from the block now okay it automatically call this fl flutter block package let's generate a constructor but not in this way with a super okay and in the super we can write here the zero for now but now let's learn about the block if we just click on the block you will see that takes a streams of events as a inputs okay so it will uh, take as a events as a input sorry okay so it will uh, take a events as inputs and transform them into a streams okay so whenever we will click on the button the button click is the event and now it will convert into the streams of states okay so you will see that abstract class it is abstract class so it is a block block needs two things blocks and the states and it extends from the block base again okay perfect now let's go here it needs uh, events and the and a state let's create one event here so i will event class name is i can write here the counter event dot art and i can write here class name as a counter event okay now uh, let's go to the counter block and here i can write the counter event the second thing it needs the state let's write here the integer okay for now so uh, everything is good uh, this counter events now this super uh, whenever we will create this if i just click on here and um, this is a super and uh, uh, we will call some more methods on the block whenever this constructor will be called so i just create this thing i think so okay so here uh empty constructor body so i will just create a constructor with the bodies and here i can write here on and uh, this on you will see that uh this on if we just search on it so this on can i write search anywhere so okay let me write here okay so this on this on is uh, like you will see that it needs uh, one thing one event okay so extends with counter event so it means that this event this on function will needs one 
counter events first of all let's learn what it is so register event handlers for the event of type e okay so it means that this on will register the events what type of events we have to perform on the ui okay just like the increment event or the decrement event here you will see that it needs to extend with the counter event okay so it means that counter event have should have something that could be possible we can perform on the ui just like if uh, let me change the name counter event and here after this i can write here another class and this class name as a counter increment event it should extend from the counter event and after this maybe there could be another and that name is the counter decrement event okay so decrement event that's it now let's go here which operations we have to perform for example i can write here counter increment event so for example this is our first event then there could be the second in a uh, 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 increment second events so i can write again on and i can write the other increment and other event so i can write here the counter decrement event okay now here it needs one emit if i just run the run, uh, work on this on function you will see that it will just register the event and what operations we have to perform we have to write everything here this on function will emit the state a uh, streams of state so i can write here the emit and i can write here state plus 1 let's save it again let's copy it and paste it here with the minus 1 sorry with minus 1 now let's go to the main and this text should be wrap with a widget name as a block builder so i have told you block builder is same like as a stream builder because the block works on the streams so that's why we have to check we have to see what streams what state of stream we are going to listen okay so this builder now needs a builder function so let me cut this text from here and uh, let's create a builder so i have just put here the builder and uh, set the text again but 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 here there should be a dollar sign uh, state okay now let's wrap with a const this block builder should be a type of if we just see it sorry if we just see it uh, this block builder needs a two type needs two types so firstly it needs a block i just put here the counter block the second thing it needs a, a, a state so which is integer type of state we have now uh, after this we have to uh, go to the button and here we have to write con text dot read okay so what type of data it should read it should read the counter block type now here we have to call the add function okay so you will see that notifies the block of a new event which will trigger all the corresponding event handlers so we have to click on the add function so what this add function will do for us Uh, notifies the block i have already told you about so it will notify the block which event it should perform okay so here i can write here counter uh, increment event why because it needs the counter event type of things okay let's copy it and now let's go here and again write here counter decrement event let's go here wrap with material app should be wrap with a widget name as a block provider okay and this block provider needs a create and this create now needs a counter block let's close the application and let's run it again uh, you will see that 
we have we have our ui if i just click on the increment it is working and when click on the detriment it is working very very fine now uh, how to create the state let's create here uh, the same way like uh, how can i tell you like the counter state dot dot uh, we have only one state which is uh, this thing it is working or not working like it is uh, the the this this is the state uh, just like the one set state we have okay In, instead of uh, the set state we are using the emit and we have only one state so we can create here a class and this class is the counter initial state and then uh, simply we don't need to write it int value and that should be the zero no no need to put a zero because we have to put the state uh, in our block so here we can write here the counter uh, initial state and this one needs now the counter uh, initial state which have a value of zero uh, for example the the initial value is three okay now here we don't need this state plus one because this emit needs now counter initial state so we simply call, call here the counter initial state and value is uh, state dot value plus one okay the same thing will be do done for us in the in the other in the other provider uh, in the uh, let me in the other event sorry uh, let me copy it and let me paste it here too but with the um, with the minus one okay minus one now let's go to the main dot dot file and here we should have the counter initial state okay and now we can simply use here uh, state dot value okay let's restart our application and uh, let's see what okay you will see that three is the initial value and now we can use it freely whenever we will need so i hope so you enjoyed the lecture